shaking hands. Excellencies, dear friends and colleagues, our discussions this morning will be divided into two sessions. I think all of us are shocked and dismayed by what has happened, and I'm sure all of us would want to express our deepest of condolences and sympathy to the people and government of Norway, and express our confidence that the government and people of Norway would be able to overcome this common vice, yes, common yeah. challenge that we all face. And I congratulate Japan for its hard-fought victory over the U.S. women's team in last week's World Cup. Uh, There was no rea there was no uh, reaction from China, not yet. Is there a on what happened in Norway, sir? Well, the U.S. has maintained that a uh, rules-based regime uh, following international law should be pursued. Minister, sir, could you have a comment on, on the potential threat in South China Sea, in, um, like your statement on the potential threat? Well, threats. if if uh, if. Uh, the Philippines can be subjected to uh, being denigrated in the fashion that it is uh, uh, experiencing now. I think that threat is a real potential one in terms of the countries uh, that are concerned about freedom of navigation. So, so